Saw where shut out at the top of the screen. Bradshaw going to put it up on first down. And he throws. It's intercepted. Coming back into this Collier for Kansas City. Collier inside the 15. Down to the 11-yard line. Tim Collier, his fifth career interception. He cut in front of the intended receiver, John Stallworth. Here is Livingston giving it over to Arnold Morgado. And Morgado battles his way near the five-yard line. Hutchell coming to the bottom of the screen. The handoff going to Tony Reed. Reed's in trouble and goes down back at the seven-yard line. Big white, white number 78 to right end, making... It will be Jan Stenerud with Tony Adams holding a 25-yard field goal attempt. It is up, and it is good. So the Chiefs take advantage with the interception and get three. And with 12.39 left to play, first quarter, the Chiefs lead the Steelers. Three to nothing. Second down and 23 situation. Now it comes to Rocky Blyer at the 10. Gets it to the 15 on some fancy footwork. Dave Rosimek, the right inside linebacker, 55, is there to make the play. Blyer, Bradshaw, straight back, under pressure, rolls out of there, throws on the run, and gets his hand in one. First down, Kansas City. Well, Bradshaw, under a lot of pressure, found an opening, and Swan was all alone for the first down. Side receiver. Smith coming back off an ankle injury. Hand off to Franco Harris. The big guy bowling straight away. Up over the 50 and into Kansas City territory at the 49. Chiefs leading 3-0. Rocky Blyer. Good trap blocking as Blyer got inside the 45-yard line. Rosamack 55 and Tim Gray 46. Are there. Ralph Berlin, their head trainer and their people working on him. Franco Harris. Out of bounds, near the 37-yard line. Flyer, down to the 32. Mark Still, 67, the former All-American of Kentucky. Thomas Howard, 52, the right outside linebacker. Franco Harris, all the way to the 21-yard line. Tim Gray, the strong safety, made the tackle. There you see some of this crap. Third and nine. Bradshaw stepping up and throwing and going for Lynn Swan. Kelly marker down. Swan at the five-yard line. The coverage by Tim Gray, the strong safety. First and number 77 up front now for the Steelers. The handoff going to Franco Harris. Harris stopped just shy of the goal line. And the call goes to Franco Harris. And he gets it in there. Penalty marker down. Harris took it in. Offside indicated against Kansas City. It'll be refused. Touchdown Steelers. Chiefs now, after this long drive, it's Steelers 7, Kansas City 3. At SMU. Set. Many of the quarterback records there broke a lot of Dandy Don Meredith's records. Hands off to Morgado. Morgado, who originally had a try at San Diego and couldn't cut it there, carrying the football. I think we Lambert, have a face mask. Against, yeah, I was going to uh, see Pittsburgh. the flag. Lambert, 58, and Lauren Taves, 51. The two. Dennis Winston, 53, an extra linebacker in for the Steelers. MacArthur Lane is in there now, 42 for the Chiefs. Third and 10. Livingston's in trouble, gets away at the 40, 45, midfield, has the first down and a lot more. Nice going by Livingston. Livingston gives it off to Tony Reed, and Reed is down to the 30 and inside the 30, got a first down at the 29-yard line. Good call, Ron Johnson, the left corner, 29. Jack Lambert, 58, the middle linebacker, making the tackle. The first quarter. Right up the middle, Arnold Morgado getting the call. He's near the 20-yard line. The free agent find looking very, very good. Nice blocking up front from Simmons and Rutney and Cut. It is second down and two. And the handoff going to the man who crossed over. That's Morgado again. Down and eight. 
Livingston going to throw. Over the middle, he goes. Intercepted. Intercepted at the two-yard line. The pass was intended for Dorsey, and it was Jack Lambert, I believe, that came away with it. Running the ball so well, Jay, why do you even think about throwing the football? You're running all over Pittsburgh. That was Jack Hand that, that intercepted the ball. It was Ham and not Lambert. Excuse but when me. you're running all over Pittsburgh like they were doing, five yards, six yards, eight yards. First quarter. Bradshaw throws back to Swan. Swan's got it at the 27-yard line and is hit by Green immediately. Swan started the day with 38 catches, tops in the AFC. First down. Steelers leading 7-3 here. It was a first down, and Bradshaw's going to throw and does to Swan at the 42. And Swan got it up to the 44-yard line. Hit by Gossam at 55 and Green 24. So Bradshaw is finding Swan open in 67. Here are the Steelers, and here up the middle is Franco Harris. Franco running very well in the early going here. Sylvester Hicks 75 and Whitney Paul 53 making the tackle. The best day Franco ever had was 134 yards against Kansas City in 72. That's it. Harris near the 45 yard line. Rosamek, the right inside linebacker. And again, Whitney Paul, the left outside linebacker there. Terry Bradshaw showing the coaching staff what they need for the first down. But you know, and Stallworth out. And it is third down and one. Bradshaw holding on and getting the first down. Bradshaw faking to Harris, holding and going for the first down. I just love this game. It is a first down at the 41. Franco Harris again getting the call. And Harris wedges his way down to the 36-yard line where Don Parrish makes the stop. Flyer, and I don't know if he got the first down or not. Flyer is a pretty good blocker himself running the football. Didn't get the first down. Thorson is in up front. Thornton is in the backfield. Franco Harris trying to get it and does. Penalty marker down at the 30-yard line. The flag thrown as Tim Gray, the strong safety 46, and Tim Collier 44, who's playing for Emma Thomas at the right corner. We do expect. Great favorite here. He'll be replaced by Jack Delaplane. I think this is against Kansas City. Face mask. Against Gary Spaney, the call. Five in the backfield now with Rocky Blyer. This is Blyer handing it over. Lynn Swan. And down he goes to the seven yard line. If Swan stays to the outside, He's going to score a touchdown because he has Terry Bradshaw on Tim Collier, number 44. The flyer, Lindstrom and Lloyd, 71 and 74, in for the Chiefs. Up front. The pass, and it is incomplete. Just took it, tossed it, penalty marker down as it was intended for Stallworth. Running the flag pattern. The coverage by Gary Barbaro. There's Collier, who was also back there. Both Swan and Stallworth are out. This is their running offensive set. A handoff going to Franco Harris. Penalty marker is down. Harris gets in, but a marker is on, on the play, and holding is indicated against Pittsburgh. Up the middle, Franco Harris. Franco Harris. The Steelers now on top of the Chiefs, 14 to 3. We're in the top 20, as we stated in the beginning. Second down four. Tony Reed spins out of there. But Jack Ham would not be denied. Tony Dungy is in for the Steelers. 21, an extra defensive back. The blitz is on. Livingston is in trouble. And he goes out of bounds, and wisely so, as Dwight White, 78, and Elsie Greenwood, 68. Rudershan, 40, and Smith, 86, are back to receive. A wobbly kick coming up. Rudershan at the 45 and bumped out of bounds at the 43-yard line. Rudershan coming quickly. Tony Samuels, 81, making the play on Rudershan. 
happened here a moment ago, a four-yard return. Here's Bradshaw, four out of seven, and he's not going to be able to get it off. He is down all the way back at the 41-yard line as Don Parrish, who played here at the University of Pittsburgh, 44-yard line. Bradshaw steps up and throws. Swan has it at the 35. Lynn Swan caught it in front of Gary Spaney, who made the tackle. You give it. Bradshaw stepping up, throwing, and completing it at the 23-yard line to Lynn Swan. Pass almost looked like it was tipped, but it got out there to Swan, who's congratulated by Harris. The Rush. He gets it away. Got his man. And Stallworth. Touchdown Pittsburgh. John Stallworth, who has that great speed, in the clear. Penalty marker down back at the 36-yard line. Well, Paul, you called it, but they might bring it back. Let's her back after the touchdown is made. I said he has to go to Stallworth because everybody's covering Swan now. Look at Stallworth right across the middle. Randy Grossman cut across in front, cleaned out everything. Lynn Swan was in the end zone, took this quarterman all the way back there, touchdown. Barbaro and Collier beaten on the play. Tolkwit will hold. 12 plus 82 equals 6. You're right. Jarella puts it up, and it is no good. The point after is missed. So with 436 left in this first half, the Pittsburgh Steelers now have a 20-3 lead over the Kansas City Chiefs. McKnight, 22. That's McKnight in motion getting the football out over the 25 to the 26 yard line. Stop made by Larry or check it, Donnie Shell, a strong safety 31 credited with the tackle. Just Morgado behind the quarterback and Morgado gets it, gets the first down and going, going, going out over the 40, penalty marker down. Morgado getting the first down but we'll wait to see what the penalty was offside against pittsburgh it'll be refused Packers to the inside and try to get out around him livingston throws it out to tony reed reed is over the 45 to midfield and down into pittsburgh territory jack lambert 58 and lauren taves 51 the middle and right side linebackers making the play it's another first down for the chiefs play action pass and the pass is complete to Walter White, the tight end. White gets to the 38-yard line. Jack Ham hangs on and pulls him back. 81 are there. That's McKnight in motion. And it is Morgado. I don't know if he got the first down or not. It's going to depend on where they put the ball down. Joe Green, 75. Of course, has been the foundation of the Steeler defense up front for so long. Now to the left side, that's Henry Marshall. It is first and 10 at the 37. Anderson uh, going to put it up, Livingston does, and he gets it to Henry Marshall, who was set wide, and he is hit at the 21-yard line. They say he did not go out of bounds. Larry Anderson there on the coverage. Livingston over the middle, going to Walter White, short of the first down. White had it at the 18-yard line, was thrown back at that point by Larry Anderson six-yard field goal attempt. Stenerud has it on the way, and it is no good. Off to the right side. Wide to the right from 36 yards out. Stenerud misses. Half here as Bradshaw handed it off to Blyer, and the final, uh, the end of the first half is going to be 20-3 to three on the board here. We had that field goal attempt missed moments ago, Paul, by Stenerud. And, and it is taken by Horace Belton. Belton over the 25, 30, still going, 35, 40, and out to the 42-yard line. The stop made by Tony Jun Dungy, number 21, a good play for the Steelers. 88, Walter White. Give to the man in motion. McKnight, 45, out to midfield and spun out of bounds right out the 50-yard line by free safety Mike Wagner. Down and two. Morgano, first down. As he gets to the 45-yard line, Jack Lambert makes the stop. We'll set the Steeler defense for you. Taking again, Livingston play action over the middle. It is complete. 
to Horace Felton at the 41-yard line, and Horace is belted by Lauren Taves, number 51. Spurg, the extra linebacker, Dennis Winston, 53, is there. Over the middle, they split the seam, and that is Tony Reed at the 20, down to the 15-yard line. The free safety, Wagner, had to come over to make the play as Reed, coming out, split the seam over the middle. Splits perfectly, first down. First down at the 14-yard line. Chiefs trying to get back in business. Hand off to McKnight. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Touchdown, Kansas City. Super run by Teddy McKnight there. McKnight on a little Minnesota Duluth. His fifth touchdown of the season. With, 17, with 12 minutes and 17 seconds left to play in the third quarter. The Chiefs have gotten on the board here. Was it's now 20 to 10. The score was good. Be five the yards Steelers on the kickoff. Up by 10. That five yards will be tacked on on the kickoff, as you heard referee Red Cashin. We'll be back with the Kansas City kickoff. 20 to 10, Steelers. Back in a couple of weeks. Second and nine. Bradshaw has time. Now, did he throw? Is it an incomplete pass or is it a fumble? We wait for the ruling. Kansas City has the ball. And it's going to be Kansas City's football. They call it a fumble. Livingston at quarterback. Pitch back as Morgato got it. Livingston now throwing. It goes back to Tony Reed, and Reed is out of bounds near the 15-yard line. Ron Johnson, the left quarterback, number 29. A handoff going to Tony Reed, and Reed has got the first down inside the five. Touchdown, Kansas City. A penalty marker down on the far side of the 11-yard line. I think you get back against this team with this offensive formation, and they're proving me wrong, and I'm glad to see it. You've been you wrong see, before. It's all right. Once, Bob <laughs> Simon, the, the tackle, or the left guard, number 73, blocked three people on that play. Pittsburgh Steelers 20. The Chiefs who battle back 17. You've got to give them a lot of credit away from home in this park. Bradshaw, all day to throw, now throws, almost intercepted. Tim Gray had it momentarily and couldn't hold on. And earlier on a John Riggins touchdown. First down, fumble, Livingston in trouble, just has to hold on back at the 35. Jack Ham came back to touchdown on him. Problem there between Livingston and McKnight, along with Henry Marshall. Livingston rolling and running it back. Penalty marker goes down, and Livingston is hit at the 30-yard line. Jack Ham made the stop on Livingston, who looked like he might be able to gain some yardage had he stayed to the left side, but he cut back in the middle. There's it is second down and 11. We're in the third quarter. Bradshaw has lots and lots of time. Going long for Lynn Swan, double coverage, interception, Kansas City. Kansas City's Gary Green comes up with it. To it, it's 20 to 17, Steelers. Second and eight from the 46 yard line. Double reverse, oh, Tony Jack Reed, Jackham. Now they throw it back. And it is complete. <laughs> now penalty markers go down. On the offense, number 73, the second down. And company. They called it against Bob Simmons, number 73. I apologize. I do too, and it's now second and 18. Livingston throwing complete to Walter White. Walter White at the 45, at the 46-yard line. Kansas City from their own 47. Livingston gets it away, going to be intercepted. Coming back with it is Jack Ham or Ron Johnson. Ron Johnson, the rookie from Eastern Michigan, his second interception of the season. A beauty. Raiders will be at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. That'll be quite a confrontation. On second and seven, down he goes. Bradshaw, collared by Thomas Howard, number 52. He just runs right by Rocky Blyer right here. Blyer 
I think this might have been a screen pass. He slips out to the outside, but Howard didn't want any part of it. He just went right by him and took Bradshaw. Reed and Morgano in the backfield. This is Horace Belton. Bubble! And it's picked up. And for the Steelers, Donnie Shell goes in. Penalty marker down on the play at the 11-yard line. We'll wait till we unravel it for you. It's against Kansas City. It's Kansas City. It's going to be a Steeler touchdown. Watch. He lines up and watch him when he gets into the backfield. He just strips everybody back there. You'll see 23 right there. He takes on the blockers, knocks down another blocker, which is Reed, and helps to the outside. Robin Cole dislodged that ball, number 56. What I'm saying about Wagner is he just took all the interference out of the way and just let everybody get into the play. Cole strips him for the fumble. Shell picks it up for the touchdown. Shares lead by 10. It's Pittsburgh 27, the Kansas City Chiefs 17. Kuzik in trouble, gets away, and now he goes down back at the 10-yard line. 75, Sylvester Hicks, 67 yards still. Livingston, another play action fake, and he wants to throw. In trouble, swings it out. Reed cutting it back, looking for running room. Great job by Reed out to the 40. Look at this run. Go to the 45, out to the 47-yard line, close to a first down. You gotta love it. Whoa, Tony Reed out of Colorado. Dwight White and Mike Wagner make the tackle. Man, and Dwight White, who missed him earlier, picked him up. And this is Horace Belton. Oh, oh Belton is really hit by Jack Ham and Ron Johnson. And I don't think he got the first down. It's close. Ne Looks a little like Jason Robards, doesn't he? To you. And he's going to try to throw again. Swings it out to Ted McKnight. McKnight over the field stripe and down to the 42-yard line. Just short of the first down. Shell and Cole made the tackle. 42 for Kansas City. Belton, Morgato, and McKnight. Morgato gets the call, gets the first down to the 34-yard line. Jack Ham and Jack Lambert, the left and middle linebacker, making the play. Ball batted down, and they rule an incomplete pass. Livingston throws, and it is incomplete. He was going for Tony Reed. Reed had a little room, but the pass was a little in, too much in front of him. Robin Cole back there along with Jack Lambert. A wobbly kick. Fair catch is called for. They let it go, and it is going to be down at the one-yard line. Coming downfield for Kansas City for Pittsburgh. First and 10 from the 38-yard line. Ted McKnight over midfield, spinning down to the 45 to the 43-yard line. Strong safety, Donnie Shell, number 31, up to make the play. 76, Rod Walters for the Chiefs. Hand off to Morgato. And Morgato had such a fine day last week and is having another fine day today for Kansas City. Is hit by Jack Lambert. McKnight in motion. McKnight with a football. McKnight inside the 30 down to the 26-yard line and a first down. They're running to their left. They're blitzing. Livingston gets it away. It is complete. That's Henry Marshall, a first down at the 10-yard line. Jack Ham made the tackle. A fine throw by Livingston as he put that one on consignment to Henry Marshall, a fine star from Missouri. That sore shoulder. First down. This is McKnight going again to the left side and getting down inside the five. Jack Lambert is there. Paul McGuire, they continue to run to that left side. Livingston's hit on 15 out of 28. Penalty marker goes down. The handoff went to Morgato, and they were looking for him, and Robin Cole made the play that time. Penalty marker down. The clock stopped with 2.05 left. They're calling this penalty against the Steelers. Next week, the Steelers will meet New Orleans here. Double tight end set. Hand off to Morgato over the left side. Touchdown, Kansas City. Arnold Morgato, who had 
two big touchdowns last week in the victory over Cleveland. Comes through here, and Paul McGuire, again, they went to that left side. 27, Chiefs, 24. Look at this and shift. And here they come with the shift. And Andresition kicks it. And a big pile up. And let's see who's got it. The Steelers come up with it. But it was a very, very touchy situation there for a moment. It goes to Sidney Thornton. And Thornton has got the first down. They went to Thornton, who has been used sparingly this afternoon. A 3.8 rushing average, but he is a tough man to bring down. 24, trying to run it out. Down to the 25-yard line goes Franco Harris, Gary Barbaro, and Dave Rosemack are there to make the play. People are watching this Kansas City game have to be awfully proud of their football team. They could have folded up their tent and went home when it was 20 to 3, but they didn't. They came back, they fought back, they had to score 2017, and two turnovers cost them the football game. And it's all over. The Pittsburgh Steelers win their eighth game of the year. They have lost one. Marv Levy shakes hands with Chuck Knoll. The final score again, 27 to 24.